Hi and welcome to film number two in this series. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Birgitta Sjastrand and today we're talking about efficiency at work. It's easy to say do the important things first, but if you don't know the company's goals and vision and uh, values, you don't really know what is important, do you? It's important to do, be efficient because then you can produce more and you don't procrastinate and waste time. I'd like you to consider this, what is important and what is uh, urgent. Number one, this is the quadrant of necessity. Quadrant two, this is very important, but it's not as urgent. So what can that be? That's your planning, that's your recreation, this is relationship building, this is your opportunities. This is for quality. And personal leadership. Quadrant number three, when you get interrupted, emails, there can be phone calls. This is the quadrant of deception. It's because you think it's more important than it is. It's urgent, but it's not as important as your crisis. The fourth, The fourth is the quadrant of waste. Waste, when you waste time, when you surf the internet for something and then you just zoom away and go somewhere else and then you go away and find something else and something, wow, it's 30 minutes gone and you haven't done nothing at all. It happens to me, probably happens to you too, but that's in the quadrant of waste. You want to avoid this quadrant as much as you can. But I know it's very easy to get stuck in this quadrant as well, sometimes during the day. If you live a lot in quadrant one, you have lots of crises, you are fighting fires the whole time and it's just so much going on and you're stressed out. It's like the other two, number two and number three, they get smaller and smaller and smaller. Maybe this small. And the only other thing you can do is being in number four. So you're only in one and four, and that's when you're really stressed out. That's starting to be a little bit dangerous. Your humor goes, and you don't really know how to balance your life. I want you to take a little bit of time after this video and start thinking about how many percent am I in, in one and two? And how can I be more in quadrant two so I get a better balance in my life? I just want to give you some general tips on how to get more efficient in work. Number one is meetings. Meetings. Are you fully prepared every meeting you go to? How efficient is the meeting you're going to? Does it have a clear purpose? Do you know exactly what you're supposed to do? A lot of people go to meetings and meetings and they're not prepared and they're wasting time. A really good tip about meetings is if you're a project manager and you have an issue and you have your uh, colleagues and you want to have this meeting and talk about this issue, the best thing is to ask a friend to be the chairman of the meeting because the chairman will look after the other people, hold on to the discussion, check the time and let everybody talk and the person, the project manager, can only be in charge of the issue itself. Tip number two is to block time. To block time for work. A lot of people, they go to meetings after meetings after meetings and they forget to block time in the calendar to actually do the job in hand. So this is really important. Block time to do your job. Number three. 
have a list of five to-dos every day. Don't have more, you probably have a list with 50 things, which is great, but the five to-do, make sure you do the five things. Number four. Plan your work. Plan your work every day. Don't just sit there and be reactive to other people's projects. Not just the five to-dos that you had before, but plan the whole day. And do it the day before. Why not before you go home in the evening? And number five, be present and focused. To be present, 100% present in a meeting with other people, it's so good. It shows them respect and you also get a lot more done because you're so focused on what you're doing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I just want to take this five quickly again. Meetings, be prepared when you go to a meeting. Don't go to meetings you're not prepared for. Two, block time in your calendar to do the work. Three, have a five to-do list every day. Four, plan your work. And five, be present and focus all the time, especially when you're in a meeting with other people. Well, thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Bye.